All right, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, listen, man. I've been saying this for a long time. We are at war. And if you don't believe that by now, then I don't know how else to convince you otherwise. We are at war. These people, they want us dead. They are so hateful inside their hearts that they will put on an act. They will lie. They will manipulate whatever they have to do because their main goal is to take us out. And we see this. We, you know, we see this every day. It's story after story after story. You know, the latest is this lady, you know, one of us trying to be there for her kids. No doubt a single mother. I, you know, I wouldn't doubt it. Already struggling. And she had to put up with a racist neighbor that don't want them there. But at the same time, people that's racist like that, they're white trash. They don't have enough money to move somewhere where they don't have to be around black people or brown or, you know, whatever other race, you know, that they're racist against. So they have even more hatred inside their heart because they can't move, you know, and even more hatred because they don't have money and they don't have a certain status in life, you know, so they take that out on us. And I don't care what nobody said, you know, this lady, she planned this. This was planned. This was pre-planned. She knew that if she could get that black lady to her home, she thought that she would be okay. But see, with all the backlash now, they're going to have to arrest her. Now, they did that little press conference and noticed the first thing that they had behind that uh, 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 sergeant or captain, you know, you know, racist uh, fucking bastard, uh, was a black man. I mean, come on, man. You found that dude somewhere and said, listen, man, we'll pay you X amount of dollars. Just stand behind me. That's all I need you to do. As if they're not right. Listen, come on, man. Stop that bullshit. Stop that bullshit. Every time something happens like this, they find some damn crazy looking dumbass Negro. They probably don't even work there to stand behind them as if, you know, they are united with black people. And no, we're not racist. We're just trying to uh, find out exactly what's going on. Listen, man, if that had been a black person killing the white woman, they would have locked that person up. They would have put, listen, man, the handcuffs would have been on that person immediately. And they would have told them, listen, you know, you're guilty until you can prove yourself innocent. See, it's different for us. We have to prove our innocence. We're guilty. Just being black, we're guilty. But for white people, oh, it stands your ground. And, you know, she felt threatened. And uh, Listen, the black woman wasn't beating down her door. But, yes, she was angry. Any of you would have been angry, too if someone broke your kid's iPad. Those things are very expensive. They're not five and $10, okay? They're very expensive. She did not have to break it. She did that for spite. She was trying to lure that black woman to her property because she knew exactly what she wanted to do. She ran back in the house and she closed that door and she locked the door and she waited for that woman to knock and then she started blasting. And no arrest. And they're talking about an investigation and they got to get special people to talk to the kids. And I, Man, get the hell up out of here with that bullshit. See, look, let me tell you something, man. That girl's family, they ought to turn it out. Because I would have. I would have turned it out. Police sergeant 
anybody that got anything to do with it, them, their family, and everybody else would have had to get it. You understand what I'm talking about? See, when you start doing that, they stop doing what they are doing. You understand? Because, see, the only thing that people like this understand is violence. They don't understand kindness. They don't understand, you know, hey, listen, what's right is right and what's wrong is wrong. They don't understand it. They understand violence, though. They do understand that. And you start putting their family members on the chopping block, you understand, and holding them responsible. <laughs> Hey, listen, they will change. They'll change overnight. And I don't give a shit about YouTube taking this video down. Listen, you can do what the hell you want to because you're going to be on the chopping block too next because some of you are racist. You already got lawsuits against you now. You got several class action suits that's getting ready to ramp up against you right now. So go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. Be my guest. Because it's a lot of people that's going to make a lot of money off you fucking racist cunts. I'm telling you, man. So keep on, you know, doing what you're doing. It's going to cost you every time. But number one, it's going to cost you money. <laughs> and let me tell you something. People like that, they hate to lose money. When that judge hits that gavel down, tell them they got to pay X amount of dollars to a class action suit, <laughs> let me tell you something. They change overnight. They change overnight, just like these other racist bastards would change overnight when you start putting their family members on the fucking chopping block. See, I've been telling you for a long time, man. Get ready, get ready, get ready. And you better ramp up. You better have your weapons. You better know how to use them. You better stockpile, and you better be ready. Because they are. And I'm telling you, they are. They've been ready. They hate us. They're not going to change. So we have to change to protect ourselves. We have to, man. We have to be careful. We have to come together. And see, that's number one, man. We have to come together, all of us. Stop killing ourselves, man. We see what's going on out here. And I'll tell you something else. You know, see, it's been so much speculation when it comes to these young people uh, that's committing all these murders. But let me give you some very important information that I just found out, and I believe it 100%. Not only are the powers that be the enemy, our common enemy, is providing weapons to these young people, okay? Because they don't have uh, jobs. They wouldn't work in the pie factory. So how in the hell are they able to afford these brand new weapons? And then people say, well, they steal them. And I, listen, that's not that much stealing in the world. Okay? I don't believe that. These guns are being given to them freely. I'm telling you. I've been hearing this from more, from, from more than just, you know, one source. Several different sources saying the same thing. Okay? In different cities, different states. And I believe it wholeheartedly. But these are the same people, too. They're secretly committing murders. And they're blaming it on these young people. These young people are not committing all of these murders. You know, like the drive-bys and they shoot in a crowd. And then all of a sudden they can't find who did it. See, these young people didn't do it. I'm not saying that some of these crimes aren't committed by them. But what I'm saying is not all of them are committed by them. I'm telling you, man. Witnesses have been saying that, number one, is more than one shooter. Number two, they saw key details to prove otherwise that it wasn't young people. These looked like older people, and they were professionals. They 
hitting targets that they wanted to hit. It wasn't just shooting randomly and then the bullets just hit whoever, you know, and they just shooting wildly. Man, there's something going on. And I've been trying to warn people about this for years and for years and for years. You better be ready. And if you're not ready, you better get ready, man. Every day that you step out of this, you know, this, 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 this evil world, man, or step into it, you're putting your life at risk. But we have no other choice. We have to go to work. We have to buy things. We have to go out. We have to venture out. That's something that we cannot help. But we can be prepared. Have your weapons, man. Everybody should have a knife, a very sharp-ass knife. You understand me? Several different weapons, man. If you cannot get a permit because the law doesn't allow it for whatever reason, listen, there are alternatives. There are alternatives. You have to do what you have to do to be prepared because we are being targeted. I don't care what nobody says. They, 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 we can argue about this back and forth, which I'm not going to argue about it because I know that it's 100% truth. You see, things like this will continue to happen until we respond. What happens when the government doesn't like something that another country does? Hmm? They respond, don't they? And they respond violently. They don't respond with kindness and say, well, we wonder what's going on and I, I just don't understand why you do it. They don't respond like that. They go to war. Because you know why they go to war? Because they know the only language that the enemy understands is violence. They already know this. You understand? So this is how they respond automatically. War. Going to war. Weapons. Warfare. And this is how we got to respond. And you too, like I said, I don't give a shit about you, man. I'm not monetizing. I don't get no money from you fucking jerks. You fucking people over anyway. You understand with that damn little pocket change shit? The advertising companies pay you X amount of dollars and you give the little pocket change to these people. And you get their hopes up thinking that they're going to be millionaires off AdSense when they never will. And as soon as they start to climb up, you demonetize them. Now, everybody has seen this play out more than once. Several times, several thousand times, as a matter of fact. But people keep, <laughs> people keep being a part of it, man. Leave AdSense behind, man. See, you have to show these people, look, man, we know what you're doing. And we know it ain't right. So guess what? We ain't going to be a part of it. Not now one of us going to be a part of it. See, that's banding together, showing them that, listen, we're going to cut into that money. Because that's also another type of language that they understand. Is when their money starts acting funny. <laughs> and let me tell you, they change overnight. You understand? They change overnight. But see, when you keep going and you still think that you can make a million dollars and or at least make enough to where that you can just solely depend on this and not the nine to five, it's not going to happen, man. They're not going to allow you to do that. I don't know why people haven't recognized this already. Years invested into this and you still barely making $150. Every month it's a different amount. And it seems like, you know, you ain't getting nowhere. And, and look, and this is even after years being invested into this. <laughs> but when they start to climb up, somehow... Man, they get excited and, and, oh, I like to thank everybody from starting from the ground up. And, you know, they think they own their way. But guess what? You're on your way to being demonetized. The only people that's going to make millions of dollars off this game is who? Google. Google, not you. 
these decoys out here that they got that's manipulating people into believing that they're making millions of dollars, they are just what I call them, decoys. They get you to believe that the average Joe can make a million dollars off AdSense. But show me one that has proved me wrong. Huh? Show me one. Other than these decoys now. Don't show me no decoy. Because they're paying them to play out, you know, that scenario. Oh, look at my car and look at this and I'm making X amount of dollars. Listen, man, <laughs> if you believe that bullshit, you are more naive than I thought. They got you any way that they want to have you. And now they even dictating what you say. Words that you pronounce, words that you describe, uh, uh, you know, certain things that you talk about. Words like death, words like sexual assault, words like child abuse. You can't even say these words. You have to be creative and inventive and use words in place of those words. Everyday words. Not curse words now. Just everyday words like death, sexual assault, rape. You can't say those words if you monetize. Because you'll get demonetized. Man, come on, man. What's next? They'll be dictating what you talk about. You mention the word government, demonetize. You mention anything that they don't like, demonetize. I mean, you know, why be a part of something like that in the first place? Why? You are ass since slave, man. They giving you literal pocket change and you turning flips for that. Then you got people like the Hodge twins, conservative, thinking that they on their way. But their main support is who? I mean, really think about it. Their main population that populate their videos, every channel that they own, is black hating rednecks. I mean, these two fucking bozos even trying to look like rednecks, man. Growing beards and wearing the redneck hat and wearing tight ass t-shirts that their damn little son should be wearing. They look fucking ridiculous. I ain't lying, man. And then they try to act like they got big muscles and they can smack somebody. Man, listen, man. These are two pussies. You understand? These are two pussies. They won't bust the grave. They won't do nothing. You understand? But dial 911. They going to always keep that finger intact so they can dial 911. You understand? Bozos. Clowns. Tired of seeing them, man. Really, tired of seeing them. They put their own people on the chopping block. Day after day, black negativity, black negative this, black negative that. As if black don't do anything positive. You understand? Because they understand something that I just told you. Their main audience is black hating rednecks. They don't want to see no positivity coming from black people. Or they won't support them. Come on. I mean, I'm calling it like I see it, man. And if you don't like it, fuck you. You know, and, and, and then you got Candace Owens, you got Brandon Taylor. You got a thousand others that's doing the same thing. Well, black people killing black people. <laughs> but why not have a balance? If you're going to talk about one, then you should talk about the other. Now, the only other thing that they will talk about is what? Something else that these rednecks hate. The trans community. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Because why? Because these rednecks, they hate that too. So whatever they hate, they're going to have on their channel. And only that on their channel. Nothing, nothing positive at all. And they go in as if they doing right. And man, listen, karma is going to come and bite them in the ass so hard, man, that they're going to turn flips. Watch what I tell you. Watch what I tell you. It's going to deal with them so hard, man, that they're going to lose everything. It's going to break them all the way down. Not just financially, but physically and mentally. You understand? They've been doing this for so long and getting away with it for so long. Watch what happens. Watch what happens. Pay no attention to clowns like that, man. You understand? If you're going to say something to them, say the right thing to them. Tell them, 
that they doing wrong, man. And tell them why. You know, tell them why. Prepare yourselves, ladies and gentlemen. Prepare yourselves, man. Because there's a lot that's going on out here that's not even being reported. I mean, so just think about this. The things that's being reported is already bad enough. But think about the things that's not being reported. That they are trying their best to keep, you know, caps on it. See, technology is something that has helped them to make a lot of money. But at the same time, it's a curse to them, too, because it opened up the communication waves in a tremendous way. Then they can't stop that. So when something happens and see if somebody wants to share it, all they got to do is go to either one of these platforms or all the platforms and share it. And by the end of the day, it's viral. By the end of the day, half the world knows exactly what's going on. And this is what they are afraid of. And they spend so much money trying to suppress this. They pay people off, literally pay people off, man to not report certain stories. But guess what? When I hear these stories, I'm going to report them. And I'm going to talk about it. And YouTube, again, for the third time, I don't give a damn about you. I don't. You don't intimidate me. You might intimidate the others because, you know, they're getting their little pocket change and they're going to cry if they can't be a part of AdSense. I don't give a damn about AdSense. You understand me? I hope you do. Because, uh, like I said, you're not going to intimidate me. I'm going to be here just as much as I want to. And I'm going to talk about what I want to and when I want to. You understand? And if you get in my way, I'm going to sue your ass. You understand? Now, you already got several lawsuits. And you got some big class action suits that's coming your way already. You know exactly what I'm talking about, don't you? <laughs> one of them. One of them. It's for $40.7 million. So if I were you, I'd keep my mouth shut. Don't make no moves because <laughs> it's going to be even more money that you're going to be paying. 